turned it on. I hadn't turned it on. Sorry. Please note the um, chili cook-off is not canceled. It's just postponed until we can do it safely. Um, if you would like a giving statement from, for 2021, uh, Connie isn't going to run all of them off, but if you would like one, let her know and she'll be glad to. Um, she will be glad to give you one. Let us prepare our hearts for worship. Thank you, Kathy. I invite you to stand for our call to worship. Welcome to the Lord's house. Praise the Lord. Let the celebration begin. Let's sing blessed assurance. Jesus is mine.
we have a, a real joy. Um, the Falcon football team has a really promising future because the eighth grade football team, two years undefeated. In fact, I think they found bigger schools, larger schools to play because they were just killing everybody. But yeah, they were, yeah. They pitched five shutouts, outscored their seven opponents 200 to 14. And um, Jake Haven is one of the players and Mike Sigler was one of the coaches. So that's pretty exciting. That's pretty exciting. Our prayer concerns. Um, I don't know if I'm saying this right. Sharissa Butcher. It's Pat's Butcher's daughter-in-law. Um, the family of Jean Austin, who passed away. Michael Clyburn, who's in the hospital, and Rod Sizemore, um, Melissa's father. And please add Toot Garn to your personal prayer list and she's having some health issues. And we just ask that you respect their privacy. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Lord Jesus, what a privilege and blessing it is to be sitting in the sanctuary, sitting out in the parking lot or at home. While COVID rages, our praise for you continues as we worship and bow before you. Nothing can keep us from your presence. Being together as your family is of utmost importance to us, and we cannot put into words how grateful we are. Thank you for this opportunity to come together in your name. During times of stress and uncertainty, we cherish each moment. Jesus, you are amazing. We are here to hear your word and to lift up those in need of your healing. You've heard our prayers spoken, the prayer list, those unspoken we lift to you. We pray, Lord God, that you will lay your mighty hand of healing, comfort, and strength upon each person. Bless this church as we continue to find new ways to spread your love and grace. We pray in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ, who taught us all to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We hear these words from the prophet Jeremiah. The time is coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their forefathers when I took them by the hand to lead them out of Egypt because they broke my covenant, though I was a husband to them, declares the Lord. This is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after that time, declares the Lord. I will put my law into their minds and write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. No longer will a man teach his neighbor or a man his brother saying, know the Lord, because they will all know me. From the least of them to the greatest, declares the Lord. 
for I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. The word of the Lord. In Proverbs chapter 3, I love these two verses. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As clergy of the East Ohio Conference, we have a document that was made in 2017 and it's titled Our Life Together, Clergy Covenant. And and the intro reads this way. We recognize and affirm the covenantal relationship we have with each other as clergy in the East Ohio Annual Conference and the call we have from God as well as with the people we serve and the world at large to exemplify and maintain the highest standards of Christian conduct. Within that covenant, we agree that each of us shall live into our calling by, and there's three main points, maintaining spiritual, intellectual, physical, and emotional fitness, and there's 11 bullet points under there. The second one, living faithfully within the community in which we are appointed. And there are six bullet points. And the third one, living within the East Ohio Clergy Covenant Communion. Sorry. Living within the East Ohio Clergy Covenant Community and the United Methodist Church. And there's five bullet points. And no, I don't have this memorized. That's why it's in plastic, so I can read it. But I think this covenant is really important for us, especially the third one, living within our covenant, because it's designed to keep us as pastors connected. And boy, do we need that connection. Unfortunately, we don't do a very good job at it, especially in the area of communicating with one another. A perfect example, the passing of our colleague and friend, Reverend Delane McGee. In 2017, Delane preached here for two Sundays. She's awesome. She preached the word of God oh, as no one else has. And she lived, she grew up in Ashland, taught, Ashland City Schools for 31 years, which I didn't know, and then served in the ministry for another 23. Well, she passed away on December 29th at her home in Ashland, and the news has yet to reach the clergy community at large. That totally disgusts me. That's what covenant is all about, and we were missing out. Our covenant deserves better than that. So you may have a covenant in your place of employment or even your teammates, whatever whatever groups you have. And it's important for everybody to participate in that covenant. I would think that uh, sports teams, knowing being on the same page, kind of having a covenant is really important. And our covenant with each other at Jeromesville United Methodist Church is vital to our ministry. John Wesley's covenant service is designed to renew our faith and relationship with God through Christ as it is made manifest in the life of the church. And you will notice if you look at the handout, at the end of the service, there's a place to sign your name, and it's a personal affirmation with God between you and God. It's a no one other, your eyes only. So I encourage you to take this home and keep it lying around, or just remember and look at what we're going to be saying. This is the proclamation in introducing the service. Friends, the Christian life is redeemed from sin 
and consecrated to God. Through baptism, from whatever denomination, we have entered this life and have been admitted into the new covenant of which Jesus Christ is the mediator. It's, he sealed it with his own blood that it might last forever. On the one side, God promises to give us new life in Christ. On the other side, we are pledged to live no more for ourselves, but only for Christ, who loved us and gave himself for us. And from time to time, we renew our spiritual covenant with God, especially when we reaffirm our baptism and gather at the Lord's table. Today, we meet as generations before us have met to renew the covenant that binds us to God. So let us make this covenant of, with God our own. And as we prepare for that, let us sing Spirit of the Living God. And this is Wesley's covenant service. Commit yourselves to Christ as his servants. Give yourselves to him that you may belong to him. Christ has many services to be done. Some are more easy and honorable. Others are more difficult and disgraceful. Some are suitable to our inclinations and interests. Others are contrary to both. In some, we may please Christ and please ourselves. But then there are other works where we cannot please Christ except by denying ourselves. It is necessary, therefore, that we consider what it means to be a servant of Christ. Let us, therefore, go to Christ and pray. Let me be your servant under your command. I will no longer be my own. I will give up myself to your will in all things. Be satisfied that Christ shall give you your place and work. Lord, make me what you will. I put myself fully into your hands. Put me to doing, put me to suffering. Let me be employed for you or laid aside for you. Let me be full, let me be empty, let me have all things, let me have nothing. I freely and with a willing heart give it all to your pleasure and disposal. Christ will be the savior of none but his servants. He is the source of all salvation to those who obey. Christ will have no servants except by consent. Christ will not accept anything except full consent to all he requires. Christ will be all in all, or he will be nothing. Confirm this by a holy covenant. To make this covenant a reality in your life, listen to these admonitions. First, set apart some time, more than once, to be spent alone before the Lord in seeking earnestly God's special assistance and gracious acceptance of you, in carefully thinking through all the conditions of the covenant, in searching your hearts whether you have already freely given your life to Christ. Consider what your sins are. Consider the laws of Christ, 
how holy, strict, and spiritual they are, and whether you, having, having carefully considered them, are willing to choose them all. Be sure you are clear in these matters. See that you do not lie to God. Second, be serious and in a spirit of holy awe and reverence. Third, claim God's covenant. Rely upon God's promise of giving grace and strength so you can keep your promise. Trust not your own strength and power. Fourth, resolve to be faithful. You have given to the Lord your hearts. You have opened your mouths to the Lord and you have dedicated yourself to God. With God's power, never go back. And last, let them then let us then prepare to renew our covenant with the Lord. Let us pray. O righteous God, for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, see me as I bow down before you. Forgive my unfaithfulness in not having done your will, for you have promised mercy to me if I turn to you with my whole heart. God requires that you shall put away all your idols. I hear from the bottom of my heart, renounce them all, covenanting with you that no known sin shall be allowed in my life. Against your will, I have turned my love toward the world. In your power, I will watch all temptations that will lead me away from you. For my own righteousness is riddled with sin, unable to stand before you. Through Christ, God has offered to be your God again if you would let him in. Before all heaven and earth, I here acknowledge you as my Lord and God. I take you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, for my portion, and vow to give up myself, body, and soul as your servant, to serve you in holiness and righteousness all the days of my life. God has given the Lord Jesus Christ as the only way and means of coming to God. Jesus, I do here accept Christ as the only new and living way and sincerely join myself in a covenant with him. O oh, bless Jesus, I come to you hungry, sinful, miserable, blind, and naked, unworthy even to wash the feet of your servants. I do here and with all my power accept you as my Lord and head. I renounce my own worthiness and vow that you are the Lord, my righteousness. I renounce my own wisdom and take you for my only guide. I renounce my own will and take your will as my law. Christ has told you that you must suffer with him. I do here covenant with you, O Christ, to take my lot with you as it may fall. Through your grace, I promise that neither life nor death shall part me from you. God has given holy laws as the rule of your life. I do here willingly put my neck under your yoke to carry your burden. All your laws are holy, just, and good. Therefore, take them as the rule of my words thoughts and actions, promising that I will strive to order my whole life according to your direction and not allow myself to neglect anything I know to be my duty. The Almighty God searches and knows your heart. O oh God, you know that I make this covenant with you today without guile or reservation. If any falsehood should be in it, guide me and help me to set it aright. And now, glory be to you, O God the Father, 
whom I from this day forward shall look upon as my God and Father. Glory be to you, O God the Son, who have loved me and washed me from my sins in your own blood, and now is my Savior and Redeemer. Glory be to you, O God the Holy Spirit, who by your almighty power have turned my heart from sin to God. O mighty God, the Lord omnipotent, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you have now become my covenant friend, and I, through your infinite grace, have become your covenant servant. So be it. And let the covenant I have made on earth be ratified in heaven. Amen. And feel free to sign this as a personal affirmation with God. This is an appropriate time to share in communion. the body of Christ broken for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. Lord, we are yours. I invite you to stand for our final hymn.
covenant we have made with God and one another. May the peace and love of God Almighty, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you. Amen.